Oh, hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. As you can see from the title, today we are here with a fragrance review from Nabitus Parfums. If you're familiar with Steven over at Channel Rider Lessons, then you know all about this line. And today we are talking about Loudest. Oh man, the bottle backward. Why you ain't tell me? Today we're talking about Loudest. If you're not familiar with the house, I think he has 11 fragrances so far. And one of the fragrances that has gotten the most attention from me is Inti Muse. I've mentioned this one in a few videos and um, I think that was for good reason. Now this fragrance here, Lautus, is uh, part of the second collection that he released. He released this with two other fragrances, so three additional fragrances in total. And um, this is one that I figured we needed to discuss. Now speaking honestly here, when I first saw the note breakdown for this one, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to like it. So it has that Neroli note in the top of this fragrance. And if you know me, then you know I'm not a huge fan of Neroli fragrances. Although there are some that I do enjoy. Generally speaking, some of them like, yeah, I don't got no time for it, all right? So that's kind of the approach that I took with this one. But after smelling this thing, well, it changed my mind. So let's talk about the presentation a bit before we talk about the fragrance. Now, Lautus comes in this 50 ml way. You have Nabitus was in this 100 ml. Um, and there's the difference. They pretty much look the same in terms of the bottle. Um, and obviously the color's obviously different, but the main difference there is in the cap, right? So um, you had this like, this kind of looks like a Minecraft cap. And that's not like a, a dig or anything like that. It just has the, that Minecraft feel to it. Listen, man, I got kids and anything with a block is, is Minecraft to me, right? And then this one here, the cap is a bit different. But that's how you tell the difference between the older fragrance and then the newer one. So if you want to know what part of the collection it came out in, just look at the caps, all right? There you have it. Um, The presentation for this one is like the Ouds, all right? So the Ouds one came in this box here, which is going to be really... <clears throat> about that box <laughs> well i was gonna say fuck the box <laughs> yeah you see how that turned out <laughs> all right that's the second time that's happened first time was perry ellis m they attacked me and this box did the same thing but i digress now in addition to a strong box you also get some strong notes in the top of this thing you get neroli oil you got lavender you got verbena and you also have yuzu in the mid you have juniper berry you have orris you have freezer and you also have casserilla and then some of the notes in the base are going to include ambergris you also have sandalwood and musk now the note breakdown for the most part looks really really nice and i know i talked about me not uh having faith in it because of the note breakdown but it was really just the neroli like i'm not a huge fan of neroli sometimes it comes off just extremely weird. A lot of times it comes off extremely weird, but that's not the case with this one. Now, according to the company, Lautus is distinguished, elegant, and modern. And with this fragrance, I get something that is very, very invigorating and fresh. Let me unpack that a bit more. On first spray of Lautus, I think maybe that first five minutes or so, it's something where I'm like, hey, I'm trying to understand what this really is. But as that begins to dissipate and it begins to transition into the mid and the base, I'm really more intrigued by the scent. As this one has this uh, crowd pleasing feel to me, it's, it's crazy because in the top, as soon as I sprayed it, I'm like, yeah, but I came back to it, right? And I wore it on skin a few times, put it on paper, and I'm like, what is that? Something about this scent is just drawing me back to it. And I feel like I talk about this a lot on the channel where purchasing a fragrance is really understanding the full depth and breadth of the fragrance, right? You really can't just go off the top notes because it's going to change, man. It's going to change. And that's oftentimes what happens when you are shopping traditionally within a store. You smell a top and you even determine you like it, you don't like it, and you go on about your business. And this one here, obviously having it and being able to experience the full life of this fragrance is something that I've really come to enjoy. Now, on that first spray, that initial spray on this thing, that Neroli and the Yuzu, 
have some bitterness to it, but the Rabina and the lavender clean it up a bit and it does it quite quickly. So in that first spray, boom, you're gonna get something bitter and then it begins to clean up and become into something that is really enjoyable. As it begins to transition and, and develop on skin, I get some of that powdery feel from the freesia that kind of adds to that cleanness as that uh, lavender is trying to clean this fragrance up a bit. And something in this fragrance, I'm not sure what it is, just has this super elegant feel to it. And they talked about this one being a, a distinguished scent and I definitely get that feel with it. Now personally, I haven't had to leave the house a ton during this quarantine setup, but on the times that I have left the house, whether it's go to the office or to, to meet someone, um, I, I have worn this one a few times and I've gotten good feedback from this one from the missus. Like, I, I'll tell you how the day goes. The missus and I stay up until like, I don't know, two, three in the morning. Last night we was up till five. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, I get up, do my conference calls. If I'm going out, um, I spray something on, the missus gets up, we have coffee together, and then I leave. Um, and by the time that this thing has dried down, I give the missus a hug, and she's like, you smell great, what do you have on? And I said, oh, 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 none of your beeswax. Nah, <laughs> no, 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 I'll tell her what I have on, man. But uh, this one here is one that I think a lot of people will enjoy. If you're into the Neroli, the, the opening on this one is not going to be anything that's super offensive to you. I believe as this thing dries down, it has elegant, mature, without being overly mature feel to it too. So when you think of the notes like Yuzu, you get that in Invictus Aqua. So I wanna make sure that I add that to it because it's nothing the same at all. Um, I really like this fragrance, man. Um, this is one that I will continue to wear. This one probably will make a few lists. And again, despite it having that Neroli note in it, um, it just it just works, man. This thing is something that I enjoy, which is one of the reasons why I elected to talk about it. I could talk about any fragrance I want, and I decided to talk about this. You're in the spring, summertime. Um, again, this is one that you can reach for. If you're looking for something that is going to be cuddle buddy worthy, I'm gonna tell you to go with Intimuse here. Um, two fragrances from the house that I believe are stand out. As I dive into the other ones, I'll talk about them a bit more, but I definitely feel like you should get your nose on these. And here's what I'm going to do, because I had a few of these things sitting around. What I'm going to do is I have the Navitus Parfums um, sample pack, and this is going to be the fragrances that were in the first release here. So what we have is um, Navus, we have Intimus, we have Primus, we have Virtus, we have Absoluto, we have Oud Imperium and Oud Luxuria. Um, we will be able to sample these and I'll select one winner randomly um, that leaves a comment down below. Um, here's, here's what we'll do, all right? Tell me the fragrance that you want to discover from this pack here. That's all you have to do is comment that down below. I'll randomly select someone and I will leave that down below. I can open this up internationally as well because I'm shipping this one out myself and there you have it. I'll have everything linked and listed down for the company as well. If you want to check them out, I believe he has some sales going on. Everything is listed down below. So as always, I'm going to give this thing a rating. I had the missus rated and I rated it myself. I was going to give this one eight and a half. She gave it an eight. So here we go. Very technical. 8.25 is what this thing gets here, man. So there you have it, man. There's a ton of fragrances on the site to choose from. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend that we or back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn bell